This is Luke with Carolina Backwoods. Back out here on the duck boat project. I've got the motor put on. You can see it behind me. I'll do a quick overview of that. Then I'll tell you what we're getting into today. So stick around. Here is the motor installed. Um, there's a ton of videos on how to assemble these things and tips and tricks. So um, I didn't feel like I needed to do that. Um, JT Gatoring and, and some other guys have put out some great content about these long tail kits. This one is a Mud Skipper medium kit. It's got the Harbor Freight Predator 420cc engine, 13 horse engine on it. And I went ahead and sprayed the shaft uh, with a little bit of camo just to blend it in when I'm in the water, when I'm duck hunting. And of course I'll have the blind on the boat. But the wife saw my camo job here on the shaft and she said, well, why don't you go ahead and spray the boat? So that's what we're gonna be working on today. But that is the completed motor. Got it registered and titled and all the things I have to do here in South Carolina. And I went ahead and I've already taped this out and sprayed this with a green. Um, it's an army green here, just a little front plate I've got on the bow of the boat. And I don't know if I'll be doing some uh, some camoing or, or what on that. I might just leave it green. It kind of look cool, little accent. The Rust-Oleum camouflage spray paint comes in an army green, a dark brown, a khaki, and a forest uh, green. It also comes in a flat black, but since I have a black base on the boat, I didn't see any good reason to buy black. A lot of people would say when you're going to camo a boat like this, you really need to start with a olive drab or a brown undercoat so you can get the best coverage but i'm going to use the stencils and maybe a little freehand spray painting whatever um, and i'm going to see how good we can do with a black base on a camouflage just kind of going for a general woodland a little bit of grass here and there that kind of look um, because this is a budget friendly channel and i would have to spend a whole lot more money to cover this boat maybe not a whole lot but more money to cover this boat in an olive or a brown and then camo it so this is for all you guys out there that doesn't have a green john boat and you're looking to do a camo job let's see what we can make out of this so if you hear a little noise in the background i've got a butt on the smoker right now and it's humming away so shout out to the pit boss nation change of plans um, I ended up having to kind of do a, a half base coat because of the way I cut my grass stencil and uh, days are getting short here it gets dark about 5 30 so I'm on a time crunch and the weather's supposed to be getting bad in a day or so so for me to get this done I got to do it this way but you can see I kind of did a base coat along the bottom with the grass color and then my stencil is actually a negative so it'll leave the grass then whatever I paint over it um, will be the the breaking up the the woodland coat paint fingers But anyway, so that's where we are I'll get the other side sprayed down um, With the base coat and then we'll catch back up from there. All right, so now you can see I've got the base coat done here on both sides Just kind of went halfway up the bottom there and now I'm going to Take my grass stencil and go across the bottom with green or brown.
top got a little bit of grass on the bottom I've still got work to do on it um, we're nowhere near done of course I've got to pull all this off and then get paint on the bow but I've got my basic three colors of grass and woodland going down each side of the boat I do have the army green that I'm going to incorporate um, probably do some grass there with army green maybe there and then uh, I've got that stencil cut out and of course the longer you take on it the better your stencils will turn out the more careful you are um, I just cut these out pretty quick this is good for the purpose I'm using it for um, this is actually just something that was in the box already and I just threw it on there for a little extra breakup I already know what my wife's gonna say she's gonna say they're hidden Mickey's she's a big Disney fan but I've got a few of those thrown in I'm gonna put some on the other side I think it's just good to have something a little extra in there for breakup but that's where we are right now all right it is very dark but this is the final product so what I did is I took the stencils and I went around the boat and I did some splotches, some woodland kind of classic woodland camo splotches up here, which you can still see some of those. Down there I used my grass template. And then I took some actual grass, you can see here, and I just held it up and sprayed around it. And it uh, creates a nice little breakup. I may tighten up around that or just cover it like I was saying earlier. But we've got a pretty good match to our shaft here on the long tail. So that is it for this installment of the duck boat, guys. The camo job is just about done. A few places to touch up up here, that kind of thing, but I think it looks pretty good.